Good morning, or afternoon, really. It's uh, 1310 on Christmas Eve, December 24, 2020. When I uh, turned on my email, I had an alert, or rather a notification about a news story concerning allegations against 73 cadets at West Point. I understand that all but one of them are first-year cadets in 2020, which means that they would have been going through the admissions process and getting confirmation during 2018-2019 academic year, if I'm correct. That would also mean that at least for the two years before this past May, they would have been engaged in standardized testing, they would have been engaged in regular testing as part of their curriculum and perhaps would have been a part of some AP class, maybe some sort of extracurricular activity, and or might have been, as I was, enrolled in a joint high school community college program where they might actually have accrued some form of college credit before they even started West Point. Some of them may even, while being freshman cadets at West Point, have had college experience in other places and then transferred. All of these factors go into what one experiences in their first year of college or first year of post-primary uh, uh, schooling. What usually doesn't happen is that there is a representation that your schooling is going to be interrupted because of a health pandemic. I'm very concerned that the pictures I am seeing of people allegedly affiliated with West Point Academy involve people in cloth masks. Most of the pictures I've seen so far are in black masks. Are these masks nylon? Are these masks cotton? Well, what they aren't is the N95 mask that I understand at the beginning of this alleged pandemic was discussed as being an essential need. That first responders had an essential need to get an N95 mask. It was a specific mask that had already been vetted by emergency service providers in this country and were also supposed to be stockpiled as part of the stockpiling that had been appropriated for several years connected to emergency preparedness and prevention. Why are cadets and others associated with the U.S. Army Military Academy in masks that do not meet the standards and specifications associated with an emergency response to a pandemic. When you answer that question, perhaps we can talk about what the substance is of these cheating allegations. But it is a significant concern to me that we have people that are now wearing branding on masks that have no medical actual necessity and are actually, as some experts argue, contrary to what the intention was behind telling people they needed a mask in order to prevent against transmission of a respiratory-borne illness. Once you get back to me, I look forward to further discussions. In the meantime, I hope you have a safe holiday.